all this negativity is on in my brain. It's not. And then you're going to actually deal with what's real and what's not. Because you're, sometimes your brain cannot differentiate between imagination and reality. So you need to kind of differentiate and see what's real and what's not. Is it my mind um, causing the self-sabotage? Or is it is it actually what it is that I need to deal with the problem? And most of the time, it's just you trying to self-sabotage. And I think part of that is because people don't want to People want to shift responsibility on something else. If yourself, for example, a lot of people will be like, "Oh, I don't want to take risk, blah blah." blah. So, so they can ask for people to ask for reassurance or blah, blah blah because they don't want to take that risk based on to the responsibility they want themselves because they don't want to hate themselves. So they sabotage their their gains by um, shifting their responsibility onto someone else. For example, they blame other people instead of taking responsibility. For example, um, they make other people do the work for them instead of them doing the work for for themselves. Okay, for example, sometimes people they know what to do in the gym, but they want someone they hire someone to make sure make sure they get the result because they want to make sure they are responsible to do the things they don't want to do. So it's all about shifting responsibility into other people away from themselves. Um. And that's why a lot of people don't get far until they're consciously aware that actually I need to take more responsibility. I need to take more control of my life. I need to do this. I need to do that. So a lot of it is it's because they're afraid of failure and they don't want to hurt their ego too much.